NC4XL, North Carolina for Extreme Lovers. This video is for all of our brand new POTA people. That'll cover most everybody. That have got into the listening habit and trying to figure out all the different awards and why people do things and what's the best to do it with and how long will and the list is endless. I'll start this video out very simply at first. If you're brand new to Parks on the Air, they do have an excellent documentation and it's not really boring reading, it's just new to you. And if you'd take some time just to devote 15 minutes, read a section and go back and read another, it'll answer a lot of your questions. What I'm going to share is something that most of us, when we started out doing Parks on the Air, didn't realize what we were going to get into. And that includes you. Whether you participate run away from it, whatever, you have some part of it, okay? When you first start chasing parks, a lot of us don't understand, why do I just keep working the same guy? I worked him yesterday at this time. He was in the same park or she was in the same park. Why do I keep doing that? Well, for the activator, it's a contact within a UTC date, 24-hour date. And you'll find locally 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock at night. The UTC date, depending on where you're at, date will change. So you worked him and, uh, just before the end of a UTC date. And the next UTC date is five minutes now. So you work him again. So you don't have to work them tomorrow in that park. But the point is, working an activator helps them as far as checking their radio equipment out and so forth. The other thing is activators like me, myself, and I, we, and we go out each time we activate a park, any park we are at. If you're at a twofer, it qualifies for that. But any time we go out and activate that, one of the things that we don't realize we're doing is we're working towards a repeat offender award. That means repeat offender. I've activated it 20 times. I get a repeat offender award. So what? Well, I like it. It gives me 20 different times to go out and get out of the house and operate in the beauty of a park. Now, for those of you that follow me, you'll notice that I uh, work select parks all the time. And there's a reason for that. This is what I do for me, myself, and I. This is what I'm doing for you guys, but I won't tell you that. But I'm hoping that you'll work me every time because if you work me or any activator, me or any activator, 20 times in the same park. That's a repeat offender. Very simple. That's a repeat offender. Now, if you worked me or any other activator 20 more times, so you're at 40 now, you're at another tier level. That's a repeat offender. When one achieves five tiers, or five repeat offenders, now you've run into an eagle. So, I don't care how many times you work me. And that doesn't mean I don't want you on the other mode because you work me on CW. You can work me on AM. You can work me on FM. You can work me on sideband. 
you can work me on CW, you can work me digital. Those are all individual contacts. So that's something to think about. Whenever an activator is out there, they're working for activating different states. They're working to activate every park in that state. For you as a hunter, you may have that mental challenge in the back of your head. I want to work every park as a hunter in that state. And there's several folks that that's their goals. And that's fine. That's fantastic. At least we have a direction to try something and do something. Please don't be um, frustrated when I make the next statement. But I work a lot of park to parks because when I go out as an activator, my focus is to go and find a one spotted and work them because I remember when I struggled to get 10 one time I thought I was gonna have a heart failure because I felt like I failed inside and I, I really hadn't realized how good of a job I did but that fear of number 10 has always been there so my personal goal since I've started activating and got uh, a couple <clears throat> activations under my belt is to always go and try to help somebody. You never know, they might be in a twofer or a threefer, and they might have two or three operators. So there you can get the park activated real quick and take that stress level off. Hunters, without you folks spinning the dial and going from 20 meters and 40 meters to 17 meters to 15 meters to 12 to 10 to 30 to 60 to 75. Wherever that activator is spotted, you're missing an opportunity because you might just get lucky enough and don't have to turn an amplifier on to be heard. There's a lot of different things. That activator, when they reach 1,000 contacts at that park, they have achieved a kilo. It's not as easy as one thinks. Many activators, you'll see that they don't run but 20 or 30 contacts and they're done for the day, and that's awesome. That's awesome, folks. Remember this, the activator is in charge out there to give you the hunters. It's you just getting in. Sometimes things come up out in the field. Some activators are really crazy like me. We'll stay out there four or five hours on the same parks. But we all have different desires. So keep that in mind about when you're working an activator. Every activator is different. Some are working for their kilo. Help them out. Spot them on the spotting page. I cannot emphasize how important that is to hunters to do that for us. When I have pileups, I'll be honest with you, I don't have time for the spotting page. But I have time to work all those folks who come and work me because somebody took the time to spot the activator to keep us busy. And we appreciate that. There's going to be activators that are going to work for, for their 100th activation, their 200th activation. Or that activator is going to try for their first activation of 100 QSOs, 100 contacts. There's going to be where they're at their 200 or their record day and got 400 contacts. Those are the things that excite most of us out there. Whether we want to admit we have a goal or not, when we're infected with parks on the air, we become OCD, I call it inflected. We decide we're going to do things, and then we go for it. Sometimes we tell people, sometimes we don't. Some of you folks don't realize there's activators out there that never tell you they're in a park. Never. And I won't disclose who they are, but I know who they are in my logs. Because I paper log and I match everything up and make sure I'm good to go and that I don't miss somebody. But those that are logging online, 
on a laptop, they'll they'll find out later down the road if they even look at their hunter's log. That activator you hunters are chasing, they might try to work all 50 states. We just had an opportunity, and I'll share this, to record park number 51. 51 parks in one 24-hour UTC date by James and James and Bob and I can't remember the name. There's four uh, gentlemen that have uh, reached 42 last year. This year they did 51 parks. What drives them? That's self-motivation. It takes a lot of work and planning and and uh, well, don't forget to add the cost in there too. And you ever have you ever tried to pee in between all the contacts? <laughs> There's a lot of different things you can do. A little, a lot, whatever it works for you. You have a desire to work everybody on CW. Go for it. On one quick last note, yes, I'm tooting my horn. I don't want you to feel sorry for me, so don't don't think it that way. But you know, I'm not going to ever get another chance to run 25,000 park-to-park contacts. And I had that opportunity with November X-Ray 8 Golf. I kept watching the numbers, watching the numbers, and then I made the decision we're close enough that I can go out and not miss it if things go right. And that's propagation. So I've accomplished it, but I'll never accomplish another one. For all you new hunters and new activators, don't hesitate to say, what if? What can I do that's different? And then go for it. Very seriously, go for it. Try to get 200 different parks in one month. Watch your number of park entities from 30 park entities overseas to like DXCC to 40 to 45. There's so much you can do. You don't have to have a goal. Nobody's going to write it down except for you. And if you want to chase it, you push you. Don't let anybody else push you, okay? But you push you. Remember, hunters, without us activators, you might just be spinning the dial on a Geritol net. But without you, hunters, us activators would be pretty darn bored sitting out in the woods talking to mosquitoes with tail numbers and things like that. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your support for Parks on the Air. It is a program that I truly believe in. I believe more fun is happening with Parks on the Air. And it's not a race. If it takes an activator four days to get the logs up, give them the four days and don't worry about it. If the good Lord takes you tonight, it's not going to make a difference. So just enjoy the hobby together. And activators, uh, I started out like you. And I said, what if I tried? And you don't have to have all the fancy stuff. The basics will get you going, get you on the air, and you have fun. Remember, Charlie, poor X-Ray Lima, North Carolina for extreme lovers, I'm not. Just down the darling old man. Set yourself a goal or something you'd like to do and then go for it. 73s, folks. <laughs>